Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this little tutorial video on Nice Hash. This is going to be for our community Stone Legion. Basically, uh, this is a new method how you can donate to Stone Legion without actually donating money. Uh, you can use your CPU and GPU power to help provide uh, our servers basically and we're going to be doing this ourselves of course and we're going to be building uh, servers for this as well over time when we earn enough to actually mine but also run our game servers on the same systems because we won't use the CPU which the CPU and the memory will be left alone and we can use that to run our game servers. Pretty clever. I thought of this last night. So what you're going to go to is the description or the pin comment and you're going to go to nicehash.com and we're going to click selling hash power and we're going to say nice hash miner and then we're going to click download and this will download for you uh, we're going to open it up uh, mine's going to look different here if you don't have 7-zip installed if you have winrar it'll look something similar if you have just windows zip it'll open up as a folder don't run it through that extract it to your desktop okay nice hash there we go we're going to open it up basically you want to click nice hash miner dot exe simple uh, easy to use and we're going to accept the agreements and we'll minimize this get out of the way we're going to agree to the third party disclaimer basically libraries to run it uh you know there will be like a, win a couple windows libraries things like that just all that program stuff you know when you install a game on steam and sometimes it pops up with libraries and it's installing it's the same idea so right now it's grabbing the miners itself and uh pretty simple there and so in the description and then in the pin comment there will be pin uh the bitcoin address um, this is what you'll paste up here. I can't do anything while it's doing this, but you'll paste it up here or you can paste it in the settings. Now you can actually click this check my stats online, which is really, really cool. You can actually see what we've done overall, our community, things like this. And basically it's like a community, uh, based, uh setup where we can see our entire uh funds earned over time and so if you want to know how much people have been participating and donating to our community this will be a good way of doing it so uh what we're going to do is we're going to put it there and then we're going to go to settings um and we're going to click uh right here we're going to click uh, us you can do this actually here anyways but i'm going to go down here and ch change it to canadian because i live in canada and so we're going to change it to canadian currency and we're going to save and close to make a ding noise when you do change your currency settings in here or put the ping, uh, Bitcoin address through the settings and change it, it will actually update this information here to give you an idea what we have in total, which is kind of handy. But it's the same thing as just checking my stats online, which I'll put that also in the uh, description for the link for people who don't want to participate. What you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to click benchmark. Unfortunately, this is what you have to do uh, because it's going to benchmark your computer and find the best way to mine on your computer. It does this automatically. It's simple. You you can click the CPU and GPU, click start, and that's it. Uh, and leave it alone. It will take maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then it'll finish, and then you can hit the close button when it is all done. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit stop, close, and we'll pretend we've done all that. And I have my main miner already set up here and ready to go. Boom. Uh, coring up everything. There we go. So this is it. It's already up and running. We All we have to do here is just hit click start, and then boom. It's going to start everything up and it'll start mining and it'll tell you, it might take you a few minutes, it might take you a few seconds, but down here it'll tell you on average what you should be doing. Now, as much as I wish mine would do about 7.77 to 8 Canadian a day, it won't do quite that. I think honestly the true average on my computer is about 6 Canadian a day. Um, and for you guys out there, that's a 1070, right? So the lower your computer, the uh, lower uh, you'll get a day. But uh, either way, it's it's one little bit that will help uh, to our community over time. And it'll help, uh, of course, pay for our servers. Um, so the plan, uh, if you're done watching, that's it. You don't have to watch or listen anymore. Um, but for our plan, the idea of what we're going to do here is we're going to do this. And hopefully the community can participate doing this as well. If I feel like the community is helping and doing this quite a bit and we can get enough, if you can tell your friends, family, whatever, to participate in this, just say we're doing it for fun, whatever. Uh, what I'm thinking is if we can get enough, uh, you know, coming in over time and I say, okay, I can see you guys are participating, you're definitely doing it. What I'm planning to do is buy not one, but two new server boxes with decent CPUs. They're going to have two 
1070s each with a decent uh, PSU and a bunch of memory RAM. And uh, the reason I'm doing two rather than say one and then put four in there is because this is more for about us running game servers, not me mining this. This is not about me making profit. It's about me being able to pay for the hardware itself. So I'm probably going to end up dropping like two grand plus on this. Uh, but this is only if I feel like people are going to participate. We're going to get two brand new servers and we're going to launch them. We can start running Minecraft. We can run any game server the community decides to run. You guys know almost all my Let's Plays, like Epirion, etc. are all based on servers. Well, my only server right now that I have running is the Minecraft servers, which are getting shut down because I can't afford paying the $100 a month. But but if I had the hardware here, I could run it fine. My internet connection is amazing. We have insane upload. That's no problem. Uh, the Imperian guys who've played on my server at home would tell you this. But the problem with my Imperian server that I run at home is that box is toasted. And I mean completely beeping toasted. It does not work anymore. The memory channel on it, I guess, is broken. So it's the, the, the motherboard. But the problem with that is we can't. We can't fix it. There's nothing we can do. We would have to replace a bunch of the parts, but it's an old, old computer. Uh, so we'd end up having to replace the motherboard and a whole bunch of other things. In the end, it's buying a new server. So what I'm thinking is we'll buy two brand new computers, uh, full, full, you know, computers, not just, uh, you know, uh, the motherboard and, you know, whatnot. It'll have two of these 1070 GPUs in each one. And we won't do CPU mining. We'll only do uh, GPU mining. The CPU won't be touched. The memory on your computer won't hardly be touched either. It'll be just using the video memory and it will be using the uh, the video card itself for processing. And none of the games that we play and run, basically server-wise, uses GPU at all. So the actual servers will run just fine. Minecraft uh, could be um, Arc again, could be anything. We'll have so much potential at this point but whatever will run will not cost us anything it will it'll, it'll just It'll just run. And it'll be great. Uh, it'll, it'll it won't affect the mining, but at the same time, it'll continue to mine. So let's say actually, I'm surprised it's mining so high, but I still don't think that's the actual amount. But let's just say it was five Canadian a day for the 1070. Each computer would do 10, so the two computers would do 20 Canadian a day. So all that money would be slowly adding up, and then I can pay for that hardware. And if things keep going, we could even expand and go even further than that over time. As you guys know, I'm not a person here to make money for myself. I'm here to run servers. I like running game servers, and I want to run them for you, but I can't. It, unfortunately, we live in an age where things cost money, and I don't work, and I, I'm not going to go out and start working a, you know, a, a friggin' waitress job or something just to buy you guys servers to play. So we got to do it as a community. This has to be a community effort, and even just to help start it out, you know, do it for the first couple of months. If we get enough people doing this, and you don't want to help later on, you don't. But either way, you guys who have been with Godcraft, Stone Legion, etc., and who've known me for the past seven, eight whatever years even longer you know i don't cheat on you and you know the money will be used for you guys either way um this is how you set up nice hash uh and i hope you like this video and i hope we can uh, bring back our servers and bring back an awesome community thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time